Alright guys, so today I want to talk a little bit about hedgehog handling. I've done some videos in the past on how to handle a mean or grumpy hedgehog. I'll put the link in the description. But this is more just for new pet owners. When you get them home, how can you handle them? So first off, you should only buy a pet if you handle it in the store and you know it's nice. Don't buy a mean pet and think that you could turn it around. All my hedgehogs that I bred, when they were babies, they were nice all the way up to adults. And that's because I hand raised them and they were nice. So if you buy it from a good breeder, they should be pretty calm and easy to handle. We're going to go ahead and take out her sleeping area here. Now she's nice, but lots of times when hedgehogs are sleeping, they can be grumpy. So you might want to take out their sleeping area, let them kind of wake up. She's kind of getting around. And now her, like I said, she's really nice. If they're nice like this, you just go underneath. There are no spikes on their bottom, on their belly. So if you get your hand underneath, it does not hurt at all. The top of them, if they're really nice, they'll put their spikes back. If their spikes are all up all crazy, that means they're kind of scared. But if, as long as they're not curled in a ball, you can just put your hand under them and touching these spikes does not hurt at all. You want to pet from front to back and there's no problem, it doesn't hurt at all. Now if you're a little scared or if your hedgehog's a little scared, this girl's over five years old. I raised her, I had her parents and she was bred in my house. She's super nice. But if your hedgehog's a little more scared and you just got her home, there are some tricks that I've learned and that other people have mentioned as well. One of which is take an old shirt or any type of clothing. Old shirt, she's going to go try to sleep. I'm going to take out her other bed here for the video time. Take an old shirt, take some old socks, anything that has your smell on it, and just go ahead and leave it in the cage with them. This will help get them used to your scent. And many people say they have great luck putting a shirt or some type of clothing into the cage that their hedgehog can smell and also just kind of make a bed out of. Now if you are scared and your hedgehog is maybe a little grumpy, doesn't quite unfold into, and you know keeps in a ball more, then just get some gloves and that'll prevent your hedgehog from you know hurting you. Uh, thin leather gloves or any type of gloves should work. These are just random gloves I had in my house. And then even if they're a little mad the spikes aren't going to hurt you. So if you want to wear a pair of gloves, super simple and easy to hold, and you just be nice and hold them and over time, you know, they'll start getting more and more used to, to you and you won't need the gloves. But of course, as you see, she's awesome. She just is uncurled and perfect. But if she was in a ball hissing with the gloves on, it wouldn't hurt me. And basically, like any pet or any friend even in real life, any human, you're not just going to get a pet and have them instantly bonded to you and instantly love you. It's going to take some time, so you're going to want to take them out, spend some time with them every day, feed them treats out of the cage, something like, uh, I use freeze-dried insects a lot with, for my hedgehogs, so they don't seem to go after crickets that are moving around a lot, but they really like freeze-dried mealworms, they'll eat superworms, and there's lots of fruits and veggies you can give them too. So as you can see, she's a real cute little girl here. But I mean, that's pretty much all you need to do is spend time, don't expect an instant, um, instant bonding. But using gloves and, or a towel, you could use a towel instead of gloves, wrap them up in a towel and you know hold them on your lap while you watch a TV episode, try to give them some treats. And again, throw a, you know, a piece of clothing that smells like you into their cage. It doesn't matter, socks, shoes, not shoes, blah, socks, you know, a shirt, shorts, whatever, some old clothing that you don't care about. Throw it in there and help them get used to your scent. So if you guys have any questions about hedgehog care, hedgehog handling, as you can see she was getting a little grumpy at me. You can see how her spikes are all up everywhere. This would maybe hurt a little bit with, uh, without gloves on, but with gloves on it's fine. Now just so you are, know, these uh, spikes have never caused me to bleed. Never been a problem with any hedgehog. I've had over 40 hedgehogs. And they've never caused me to bleed, but they can cause a slightly allergic reaction if they prick on your skin. So if you get little bumps on your skin or something, it's, you know, don't worry about it. But, um, you know, keep an eye on it. It happens to lots of people and it's not anything to worry about. But, I mean, if it's really bad and you're super allergic to them, of course, uh, you know, be careful. But it happens to a lot of people, so don't worry too much if that happens to you. Um, but, yeah, it's, they're not hard to handle once they get to know you. And like I said, try to handle them first. See how they interact in the store or the breeder that you buy them from. See that, how they interact and, you know, only buy it if it's a nice hedgehog to begin with. It's kind of like a cat or dog. Would you buy a cat or dog that's hissing at you and biting you? Probably not, you know. So it's, it's the same with all types of little pets too. Just because they're a little small pet doesn't mean that, uh, you know, you want one that's aggressive when you first get it. 
So again, I'll put the link to how to handle a mean or grumpy hedgehog in my description. That's an older video that's you know gotten a good amount of views and people enjoy it and get some good tips out of it. And then this video is more for just new pet owners, just a couple little tips and tricks. And we'll see you guys later.